still walk in the street. I guarantee you if those were two black HSU students, they would be in jail right now. They would be in jail. And Kyle Zoner, you can sue me all you want. You can sue me, you can sue me, you can sue me. You will never get a dime, I promise you that. But the DNA on the knife is of Kyle Zoner and David Josiah Lawson. And Kyle Zoner is still walking the street of Humboldt County. And it's all because of District Attorney Maggie Fleming. I met with the chief of police today, earlier today, and I met with Karen Deemer, the city manager, and I said, if Kyle Zoner was in a fight with Karen Deemer's son, or the chief's son, or even Maggie Fleming's daughter, the outcome would be different. He would be in jail right now. Why is it different? Because my child is black. Why is it different? This is not okay. This is not okay. I am sick and I'm tired of coming back and forth, fighting for justice for my son. We are all equal in the eyes of the law. We are all equal, so why are we being treated differently? And Maggie Fleming, District Attorney Maggie Fleming, <laughs> have to go. And the only way we can get her out of here is if we vote. Register to vote, young people. Register to vote. Let your voices be heard. You cannot change systemic racism if you don't vote and you just sit back and turn a blind eye. You cannot do it. You cannot do it. I look at these protests over these last week with George Floyd. I see a police officer that I pay taxes. I see a police officer with his knee on the neck of a black man. And what I see is his hands in his pocket. And I see him posing and saying, your life does not matter. Bullshit. His life mattered. And so does my son, DJ Lawson. His life mattered. If someone steals something from you right now and an officer investigates this crime, it's going to last more than 15 minutes. So for someone to lose their life and the interview last 15 minutes, there's a problem. The things that occurred in the courts, unacceptable in the grand jury, unacceptable. Two jurors came forward and said that the things that they were instructed appeared as if it was intentional to sabotage the case. So, I'm in law enforcement. I know how things go on both sides. I'm a black man. I know how things go on both sides. I have to ask the question, what was their motivation to ensure that this case did not go before a trial? What was the motivation that prevented it from getting a conviction? And that bothers me. So I thank you guys for support, and I encourage you to continue to support the cause because without you, it's just gonna go away. And justice will never be found for DJ. A suspect in an altercation with my son, covered in blood, mm -hmm. his DNA is on the evidence the murder weapon and he's inter interviewed for 15 minutes with students of color who did not attend the party that night nothing to do with it but because they were part of either brothers united or they knew my son mm -hmm. they were hauled into apd mm -hmm. and they were there for hours being mm -hmm. questioned so do you see where <laughs> there's definitely mm -hmm. some racism and